Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a really cool desaturated urban look with some highlight colors in it. This is really cool. Theme tune. Do, 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 do. Running backwards, running sideways. Ooh, circle. Well, wait. Uh, okay. So the photo I'm edit using to edit today was sent in by the Photos in Color community. It was somebody, I'll get their name in a second, but if you want me to edit one of your photographs, you can send them to me. Just head over to the Photos in Color Facebook page, send me a message there, and I will send you the link for where you can send it. Now, please remember, I only edit or accept raw files. So if you send me any JPEGs, I just delete them straight away, so just don't bother. Anyway. Let's jump into Lightroom and let's have a look how to do this. Here we go. So we're going to use this photo today. Now this is the raw file. It's a stunning raw file. It was sent in by um, Mariglant Zhu. Now I'm so sorry, I'm sure I got your name wrong. But this is a raw file. Uh, it was taken, it was uh, on the Nikon, D5500 on a 50 mil at f8 and I guess it was a long shutter speed I can't find where it says that but it will have been a long shutter speed because you can see the river down here is all blown out now I think this is New York this is Brooklyn Bridge I think I used to live in New York so that's what I'm guessing uh, let me know if I am wrong I probably am anyway let's jump into the develop module by selecting it up here and let's quickly make an edit on this. So I want to do this really cool urban feel that, that people are doing now. It's very desaturated. So let's look in here and we can see that we can actually lift up this to get this set in the middle. But I don't really like it. We don't want to be highlighting everything here by lifting our shadows. So let's reset this. Instead what we're going to do, I'm going to reduce the exposure on this and I'm going to pull back those blacks and I'm going to make it really dark. Okay, lift the, high, lift the shadows a little bit. Okay, so we're done there, but what I want to do is this desaturated urban look. So let's quickly jump in and see how to do that. Really easy. We come down here to HSL, and we're going to go to saturation. Now, if we were to do vibrance up here, for example, we can reduce the vibrance, but it's of all the colors. And what we want to do is we want to keep the color orange, or whatever color we want. So essentially, that's black and white. So... Instead, we come down to HSL and we want orange to stay alive. So we're going to keep our orange, reds and yellows high, but then greens, blues and all the other colors, we're going to pull back, not to zero, because I want it to be desaturated, not black and white. And there's a very subtle difference with that. So we can keep on bringing these back up a little bit. There we go. This is looking really, really nice. Now these colors, I'm going to help myself to get more colors towards these ones. So for example, my greens are going to push towards my yellows, uh, my yellows towards my reds, okay, and then my reds towards my oranges. And what you can see there, by turning this on and off, we can see that we've made a huge difference already. We've basically lost all of the color, let's zoom in here, and we've just kept our oranges. Now, I really like this so far, but this is just the beginning, because we can do a lot more with this which is very exciting, I think. We can now start editing things like the sky is in the blue area or the aqua area, and we start pulling these elements around using HSL so we can make these lights lighter or darker. So I'm just gonna boost the lights, I'm gonna pull back the blues. So that again, a nice little movement there. Now I'm gonna come back up here and I'm going to add more contrast to this image. There we go, I'm gonna pull this right back. I'm gonna pull the blacks back even further. And now I think we're getting somewhere with this. Let me lift the exposure actually back up. Ooh, I think this is an amazing image. Let's look at the before and the after. Now, I'm happy with these colors, but they're not quite there yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost the vibrance of the image. But you can see I've brought back all these greens. So let's come back down here and I'm gonna pull my blues and greens back down but I'm gonna help myself even more because there's a lot of white lights here, but they're pure white. I would love it if they were yellow. Now, an easy way to do that is of course going to split toning. Highlights we set to orange, and then we just boost the saturation. Okay, and we can see, let, let's just pull this up here and let's see what color we wanna go for. That red color really works for me. 
But now I can actually choose, do I want it more of the image? So if I go towards the whites, it means that it includes more darks in this color. Instead, I wanna go the opposite direction, pull it back this way, and that what that means is I can really put in a lot of that orange or red color into the image. Now, this looks absolutely fantastic. Now, the last few things that I'm gonna do to this image, just because I like to, is I'm gonna jump into the tone curve, okay? And what I wanna do is I actually want to get these blacks and I wanna turn them a bit gray. So I'm gonna keep, let's boost this contrast actually by adding in a little S curve like so. So I'm gonna pull this back so make those blacks blacker, those lights a little tiny bit lighter, zoom out. Oh, I love this. I think I've maybe gone a bit too far on the black, but then I'm gonna lift up this bottom point so the blacks are actually gray. And that actually gives this effect where now it's starting to look brilliantly dramatic and a stunning image. So let's look at the big before, brilliant place to start, and the after we now have this spectacular moody feel. So let's help ourselves. Let's bring in a graduated filter, holding shift to make it nice and square. And what are we gonna do? Pull back the exposure on the sky, just a little bit, and we're gonna match that on the bottom in the water, just down here. Now we're not gonna go a, a massive amount like this because that's gonna kind of ruin it. We are gonna pull it back a fair bit though, and why not, let's just do that to the sky. Oh, I've got clarity added to that. Let's not add clarity. We don't wanna do that in either of those. Oh, I like this, but I've got too much. If you've ever got a line going on while you add this and it ends up looking something like this, you see I've got this strict line across here. All you need to do, you need to extend this so that the filter fades a lot more, okay? So something more like this, and I've gone too far with it. There we go. Now let's look at the before, and let's look at the after. We have created a beautifully dramatic image. Now because of the way the image is, I can actually use clarity quite a lot on this image, like so. And there, I think we've completed the image. I'm happy with that. Let's see what happens if we move our primary red around towards purples, towards the yellows. No, I'm just gonna stick that just here a little bit towards the oranges, before and after. And it really is that simple. Remember, all I've kind of done is added some contrast and then I've moved the um, hue and the saturation around and then that's the image that I'm gonna get. Okay, so that there is how you can create an incredible urban kind of moody feel where you've just got one color in the highlights. Really easy to do, especially when you desaturate everything else, then add a little bit of contrast to your image. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs>